Hello guys, my name is Purnendu and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm excited to showcase my latest Power BI project focus on the e-commerce domain. So in this video, I am using Amazon sales data set, which is collected from Kaggle. So here is the data set. So first I'll check the, all the columns here. Like first is product ID, product name, category discount price actual price discount percentage rating rating count and uh, many more okay so before going to power bi first i'll tell you all the business objective we can analyze here so first first analyze which category capture the market by their price or their order quantity by their revenue everything Second, which is the total revenue they generate from the individual category, also from the subcategory wise. Then price of the product having high demand in each category. Then the top discount price, total sales by each category. And what are the top and low rated products so they can see what needs to improve market. So without wasting time, let's move back to the Power BI. Start create the dashboard. Okay, now let's open Power BI first. Just import the data set from here, text and CCV. Okay, first we don't load the data from here because we need to clean some data, change some value. So just click on that transform data. Okay, it's done. Now we'll check all the data sets, all the columns types. It's it's okay or not. So first of all, it's product ID. It's okay. Product name is okay. Category is okay. So for, let's go to the discount price. It needs to be the decimal number, but it is a text. So we need to change the change the rupees the rupees value. So you go to the transform and replace value. We just copy the logo and just value to found here and replace it. Okay. We are doing same with the actual price also. Okay. Now it's converted to decimal number. Yeah. It will done. And same goes to actual price. Discount price is okay. Rating is also a decimal number. Rating count also decimal number. Okay, so we don't need that about product. So we can delete that user name, user ID, review ID, and review title. We don't need that. Review content. We don't need that. Image link. We don't need that. Okay, so let's keep the product link if we need or not for some analysis or. So in this category column, we've seen too much category division. So we don't need all the division. So first one is we'll we'll use first one as a category and last one as a subcategory. Okay, so I'll do it. So first click the category column and then we will go add column. Then we need to use text before delimiter. So we'll get the text before delimiter. And we detect the delimiter and click on OK. So we got our category section. Now we will turn to the subcategory. Same, but now you will stick after delimiter. And we need to change that from the end of the output. And click on the delimiter. And we will get the subcategory. So now we don't need that category column now because we got our original category and subcategory so just rename the column now and now just move back to the beginning side all the columns Okay, now I will check in each and every column is there are any 
null value or is a blank cells here or not subcategory uh, there are no null value discount price there are no null value same goes to actual values actual price okay we got our discount price zero it's okay zero is okay let's check once uh, okay the actual value discount price is same so it's obviously zero percent discount and it goes to rating rating is all good okay there is some data format error in the rating section so let's check it later okay now comes to rating count where we have some null value we have two null value so i need to change the value here but we don't know what value we input here so let's go to the let's click the product link and check in google okay we got the product and there is see there are 13 the 13 rating so we need to replace the null value to 13 so first of all but there are no option to change the single row so we just we just okay let's check the second product okay, click the link and paste it into the google but i think we can't find that product okay we are doing some manual search by the product name but i don't think so we found one but this is, a, this is not the same product which we are trying to find okay so let's back to the data set and just we first uh, first value we need to change as 13 and uh, we need to change the second value as zero because there are no rating and we can't find the product so for this process we first just change the filter delete the filter and just replace value with it will to null to 13 let's come to the rating section there are some data format error so i believe i just need to okay we can't find the error okay we could not convert to number i think there is some number issue because we see already saw in the excel section ki there are some uh type type error like one in text text value and one in decimal value so i think there is some error while loading in the power bi so like so now we just keep on the Keep on this rating section. You can replace the value. So let's go. Keep it now. And let's close and apply. Okay, there are one error. You can see. Okay, so now we need to change that one value 13 to 0 because we change the both value to the 13 so new column which is name rating count updated and we use if function where and also end function because we need to comply with the two condition one is 13 and on another anything like index number 320 and if true is zero if false just go with the rating count so we found that updated column and we just found that now it's updated 13 to 0 ok now we are checking that rating rating column ok we got the blank value which give us the data type error which is now shown as a blank we need to change the value by the product name okay so we can find the value in the when i when i click that edit query section 
so i need to remember some another column value so let's check discount percentage is 0 0.16 right so let's go to the edit query and apply the filter in the discount percentage so like it's 0 0.16 and click okay okay so we got that error value and just go to the transform and replace error and okay so now we need to find that rating so we just same goes to just click on the product link and open the chrome and click Okay, we got that rating value is okay rating is 4 out of 5 so we need to change the value 4 change the replace value 4 okay now it's 4 and click on ok okay now it's all done we clean the data set and we change the value we got the category value category section and subcategory section so without wasting time let's go to the dashboard section and create our dashboard according to our business object uh, which i already discussed just start of the video you can check it out again so let's go create our dashboard deploying all the chart and all the calculation we need to create some major okay so let's create some major first Measure is total product count or you can say amount you can say total product amount so count and select product id so we select the card and let's check it out okay we have total 1465 rows so we got our product count is 1465 okay next we'll create another measure which is total sales total sales is sum of all the discount pr prices okay and another measure which is total sales according to the without discount price because we need to compare that without discount price and with discount price so it's sum of actual price so another is total rating count to select this okay first before creating the dashboard we need a title like what type of dashboard we are gonna create like we need to select a shape here okay, let's change the color from here let's take this color border color we need to black shadow it's looking cool okay it's done let's come to the shape okay height is around okay it's okay let's come to the middle it's looking good okay now insert and we need to insert the image like amazon logo here we go let's make it okay okay now it's a text box Amazon sales analysis. 
I use this font and make sure use one or two fonts one font for the uh, like title and one font for the subtitle don't use too much font so I will use one font here make it big is good okay i need to remove the background okay so you are done with the what is this okay now it's okay okay so we are done with that title and title section title and logo section Okay, now we will create a bar chart, stack bar chart. So, in the in the y axis, we need to take sub category and let's take the total product count, total product amount. Okay, okay let's just Customize this from the visual section. Okay, first change the font. We select this font. Now it's okay. Make it bold and color is black. We need to see all the font, right? That's why you need to change the max width. Y axis. Same goes to Y axis. Change the when is the data levels. Bars color is make it black also. Eight and bold color also black. Let's come to come to the effect. I need to uh, change the background color like this. Okay. So select this and border also shadow can I make it same kind of rounded uh, it 25 no 25 is too much 15 yeah 15 is okay and let's come to it's black okay now I just check the change the title section title section is change the title okay same title bold make it okay when the background color and text color is this okay now it's looking good i need to change this part also this title also like data labels titles title we need to add a background layer in the data level section why i'll tell you later and just make it and transparency zero 
I we cannot see anything any changes, but I'll show you later why you need this. Okay, all the things is done. Okay, now let's do one thing. Let's select a background. Okay. Okay. Next, we are creating a, another another bar chart. This bar chart is created the product amount by sub subcategory. Okay. So we need to create another one by the total revenue. Okay. So you just okay. You can select another bar chart like that, and you just deploy all the axis command. So I don't do that. I just copy and just create another duplicate. I just change the value from here subcategory and just add that total cells sorry total cells okay okay got that amount i need to change that amount to the thousand because we can see we can visually see any amount in this part okay so go to visual bar data levels values and display unit make it thousand okay now you see the difference here why you need the data levels background okay the two bar chart is ready okay we need one uh, one slicer for the category section i don't select from here okay delete delete same copy paste and make it slicer and cut the sub category section and category okay I change that category. I just change that like bar chart settings plus the slicer setting. And no, not this one. It will looking good. And I'm plot it here. First, I don't need slice header. I need title. and um, okay okay i need to change also this color also right so background color this phone color black now it's okay Okay, I'll show the select all button also. Okay, so slicer is ready. We need to change anything. I don't think so. Okay, I can select this also. It will looking nice. Yeah. Okay. So slicer is ready. Okay, now I see copy and paste another section and I'll I'll change this to multi row card. Here I deploy two amount. One is total sales and total sales without discount. Change. Okay. I'll change this to total revenue. Total sales without discount price, which is uh, collected revenue by the Amazon, and total sales is without with discount. So total revenue it's also good we need to change that category levels Here I can increase the value and make it black also. Okay, now we need to change that amount to the currency like Indian rupees, right? So we need to go to the general and make it currency. 
and here same goes to this currency okay it's now done okay next we create our column chart same just copy paste and select the column chart not sales total revenue which is total sales total sales and here i just placed all the category where is the category Okay, now we saw that spacing to in uh, decrease the spacing here. So spacing. Yes. Okay, now it's looking good. Now come to the next part. We copy paste and make it single card. And here I'll select product name let's product name and let's come to the filter i'll make here top profitable product here so select here and product name top one one total sales obviously okay we got our product and let's change some visual here values it's okay category level in it category level we need title so we'll select here title profit okay so just change the value okay let's create another card just copy and paste from here and i'll create a yeah, multi row multi row card where i can show the top rated product here so same i'll go to the filter section and here and we don't know total cell we need rating count and apply filter here okay next we select rating count here we got the rating count and now just change some visually you need to change okay first okay we need to change all the title here from here i forget to do that let's do that first okay now profit top product top rated top rated product list change some visually color is always black change the font make it bold same this also value is make it bold okay let's skip it here
okay we created this one we done with this one okay now I just change the all the title like Now change that to the matrix where I select all the product ID and also that product name. And here I kept category. What is the category? Okay. Category rating actual price. Before change the visual things, I need to do two things. Okay, one is let's make a another column and name is rating wise quality, where I calculated if Amazon rating what is rating? Okay, Amazon rating is greater than is equal to three point nine. Then is good product. If false, then another if where Amazon rating price is greater than is equal to 2.9, then it's average quality, otherwise, it's low quality. Okay, we got another column rating wise quality. Then we need to do one more thing. I'll go to the quick measure and I'll select a rating star rating where number of star five. And here I select rating five. We got a new measure here you can see and what the uses let's go to the this part and I clicked on this part and remove the sum operating and now I select this see this I can see all the rating by star it's look visually good so let's Go to the visual section and just edit this. Okay, let's change the title first. Make it category. I'll select this as a selling price. And this is rating. Okay. It's looking good. Okay, we're done with the visual things. Let's create a conditional format here with the selling price. Okay, so here we go and conditional formatting data bars. And let's select the color
okay so we are done with this let's keep it something here okay so we create another slicer like this but i'll change that slider slider thing to tile and in the field section the rating wise quality okay okay we have done all these things let's come to the another page and we are going to create a tool pick so canvas setting type to tool tip and make it middle let's make it custom 400 and it's 300 okay done and go to the view page fit to page we need this And also we need this. But we change the name to and I'll switch it off and save. Now it's looking good. Copy paste here. We well, are not this one. I'll copy paste this. And same, I don't need this now. Okay, our tooltip is done and make it on. Okay, make it on and let's come to the page one and I'll select this general, make it on and report paste order to page two. Okay, now I can see all the product details. Like this is the product ID, I can hover here so I can see all the product details here. Okay, so so we are done with the dashboard. Let's check it out. First, we have slicer at the top corner which shows all the category. If we click to car and motorbike category, the bottom we can see AR purifier and ionizer is only one product which sold in the market. Next, if we see computers and accessories, where we can see USB cables are most revenue and also place large amount of order. Then we have total revenue and total revenue without discount in the certain period of time. Then we have another slicer where I categorize the product quality by the customer rating. If the customer rating is above the above 3.9, then the product is good. If the product is above 2.9, then it's average, else it is low. After that, I place two cards which show most profitable and most rated product in the market. 
it will also change by the category. Then we have total revenue by category where we can see the electronics product are earned the most revenue by the category in the market. Then we have a matrix chart where we can see every product ID, category and rating amount and the selling price. Then I use another page as a tool tip. So when you hover in the category section or any product ID, then you can see every individual product details, product ID, product name and rating count, everything you need. So that's it with the dashboard. We found all the objective we want in the dashboard you can see. So thank you for watching.